Palaha admits that Megs flirted with him and called him in the dressing room backstage, date as handbook while dating Harry. Before she was a duchess, Meghan Markle was a Hallmark Channel star. In 2016, she starred in the romantic comedy Date as Handbook with Christopher Palaha and Jonathan Scarf. In a new interview with TV Insider, Palaha was asked about his various Hallmark movies from over the years and he dished about what it was like working with Meghan. In the interview with TV Insider, Palaha reminisced about his Hallmark movies and when he got to the Date as Handbook, he said that not only did he and co-star with Meghan, he said not only did he and co-star Meghan Markle get along well, but neither one of them really understood what Hallmark was at the time. And then, when she started dating Prince Harry, the movie kind of blew up. That one was a great entry point because Meghan Markle and I hit it off like gangbusters, and we had the best time making the movie, said Palaha, adding, but then something bad happened when Meghan and I had a real chemical reaction. There were several times she called me into her dressing room backstage, Looks like she wanted to flirt with me, you know, she's very perverse. She was secretly enjoying watching me crash and burn, knowing she can use it to manipulate me. But I knew she was dating Harry, so I didn't continue my shady bond with her. Earlier, Meghan was also allegedly caught in a sneaky dressing room hookup with disgraced American TV host Matt Law, following an appearance on the US Today show before she started dating Harry. There was something going on between them, a snitch for NBC Network is alleged to have told the publication. The onset spy claims that Meghan and Matt vanished off together and that Meghan was spied going into the TV star's dressing room on at least two occasions. Whether it was just heavy, heavy flirting, Matt wouldn't have done it in front of his wife. If there was anything else, then it went on behind closed doors. Matt was sensationally fired from the NBC News show last year after allegations of harassment came to light. The source goes on to claim that while it wasn't unusual for Matt to ask female guests to go backstage with him between segments, he usually left his office door open. However, with Meghan, he chose to keep their meetings private. No one dared ask Matt why he kept the door closed with Meghan a witness claims. They would flirt heavily with each other off the air and had undeniable chemistry, says the source. Matt went out of his way to get Meghan on as often as possible since Matt was instrumental in getting her on board as a sort of celebrity consultant. He wanted to do many of the segments with her himself. The National Enquirer states that Meghan's indiscreet flirting with Matt has rocked the royals. This isn't the first time Meghan has been accused of seducing co-stars or hosts in the shows she's participated in. Earlier, Meghan Markle has been accused by the wife of a former Suits co-star, Trin Belisaro, of flirting with her husband, Patrick Adam, behind the scenes. Sources said that Patrick was her on-screen husband for years on Suits, but Patrick J. Adams has admitted he's intimidated to get in touch with Meghan Markle. According to the Daily Mail, Patrick told the Radio Times that his relationship with his former co-star changed remarkably since they went their separate ways. Meghan and Patrick may have played a couple, but the sizzling chemistry raised eyebrows at Meghan's first wedding to Trevor Engelson in 2011. Their off-screen chemistry was equally noticeable, almost uncomfortably so, according to guests at Meghan and Trevor's wedding, which took place in Jamaica in 2011, royal biographer Andrew Morton wrote in his book, Meghan, a Hollywood Princess. The two actors clearly developed a bond of familiarity that's invariably the corollary of work up close and personal for so long and so intensely. 